Good morning to all of you. This is Professor M. S. Goethe, Assistant Professor of Department of Agricultural Entomology, Kekewa College of Agriculture, Nashik. In today's lecture, we are study the or study about the apiculture. In apiculture, we are going to study the introduction of apiculture, then history of beekeeping in India, then anatomy and morphology of the bee. So let us start the topic that is apiculture. Firstly, the definition of apiculture. The science of rearing honeybee or beekeeping is known as a apiculture. So this is the science of rearing the honeybees or artificial rearing of the honeybees is known as apiculture. Then the honeybees belongs to phylum Arthropoda class Insecta belongs to order Hymenoptera, then superfamily of the honeybee Apodia and belongs to family Apidae. Then next point is the introduction to apiculture. Honey is highly valued food produced by honeybees and it is also used as a medicine. In addition to honey, other products like a bee wax, pollen, royal jelly and bee venom are also produced by the honeybees. More than the producers of these high products, bees play an important role in pollination of plants while collecting their food from the flowers in the form of nectar and pollen. Pollination is involved in a chain of complex events significant to our economy. Pollination by insect including honeybees is an important for ecological balance and the visitation by honeybees between distant varieties or cultivars promotes the hybridization and help sparse population to survive. So this is the introduction of, of apiculture. The next point is the history of beekeeping or history of apiculture. Primitive man used to rob bee colonies found in the cavities of hollow trees or on rocks and in traditional mud houses and this is still being followed by some tribes. There was no development in beekeeping until the 16th century. Proper beekeeping started only when man started giving protection to the colonies found in the nature. The discovery of the principle of bee space in 1851 by L. L. Langstrom in USA resulted in a first truly movable frame hive. This bee space was 9.5 mm for the honeybee species that is Apis mellifera means the European honeybee. This discovery was followed by subsequent innovation like a comb foundation mill, honey extractor, smoker which help in the development of modern beekeeping we see today. So this is the history of apiculture. Then beekeeping or apiculture in a India. In India first attempt to keep a bees in a movable frame hives was made in the 1882 in Bengal and then in 1883 to 84 in Punjab. In South India, the Ruan Newton during 1911 to 1917 trained several beekeepers and devised a hive for indigenous bee Apis Serena based on a principle of bee space which was named after his name as Newton Hayo. In Himachal Pradesh, modern beekeeping with the indigenous honeybee Apis Serena started in 1934 at Kulu and in 1936 at Kangara. The exotic bee that is Apis mellifera means the European honeybee was successfully introduced for the first time in India in 1962 at Nagrota Bhagwan. 
because this bee has potential to produce more honey than the other species of honey bees india is producing approximately 70000 metric tons of honey annually from all the four species of honey bees then next point is morphology and anatomy of honey bee in honey bee body parts are modified as per their food habits and social life as we know the honey bees are social insect means in which the caste system are found such as a queen worker and drones like any insect body of a honey bee can be distinguished into three parts first one is a head second one is a thorax and third one is a abdomen so let us see one by one first one is a head head pairs a pair of geniculate antennas two compound eyes on the lateral side of the head bees can distinguish different colors but are red blind and can perceive the ultraviolet rays head bears three ocelli means the simple eyes on the top portion which perceive the degree of light two mandibles are attached to ventrolateral part of the head capsule and the mandibles differ in a shape in a three cast the workers use mandibles for grasping and scraping the pollen from the anthers feeding of a pollen and in manipulation of a wax scales during the comb building mouth parts of the worker bees are modified for sucking and lapping tongue or proboscis proboscis means the median labian and two lateral maxillae are formed together is used for ingesting the liquids labium has long median glossa and spoon shaped lobe that is flabellum at the end inside the head there are long coil strings of a small lobes known as a hypopharyngeal glands which secretes the glandular food known as a royal jelly and that is fed to queen and young larva so this is all about the first part of the honey bee body then second part is thorax thorax consists of three segments that is prothorax mesothorax and metathorax each bears a pair of legs meso and metathorax each bears a pair of wings legs and wings are locomotory organs in addition to locomotion legs in honey bees are also modified to perform the following functions so first one is prothoracic legs serve as antenna cleaner so this is the function of first pair of leg on mesothoracic legs bushy tarsi serve as brushes for cleaning of thorax this is the second function of second pair long spine at end of middle tibia is used for loosening pellets of a pollen from pollen basket of a hind leg and also for cleaning wings and spiracles hind or metathoracic legs differ from the other legs in being larger in a size and with a broad flatten form of tibia and basitarsus two pairs of wings arise from sides of meso and metathorax four wings are stronger than the hind wings series of upturn up hooks means the hamuli are present on front margin of each hind wing d curve fold on rear margin of a four wing work as a coupling apparatus for holding hamuli and this result in unity of action of the wings in flight means hamuli helps in flight so this is all about the second body part of the honey bee that is thorax then third one is or third body part of the honey bee 
is the abdomen. First abdominal segment is united with the metathorax and form the anatomically a part of thorax known as a propodium. So the meaning of propodium means the first abdominal segment is fused to the metathorax called as propodium. B larva has a 10 abdominal segment but in adult worker abdomen appears 6 segmented. Segments 8 to 10 are reduced in size and first segment is transferred to thorax during the pupal stage. Abdomen bears sting, wax glands and scan glands and genitalia in addition to other viscera. In workers, egg laying apparatus means the ovipositor is modified into the sting and in case of the queen bees, it uses or ovipositor use as a for the egg laying. So this is all about the apiculture. Firstly the introduction of apiculture, then history of beekeeping, then beekeeping in India and the last one is anatomy and morphology of honeybee. Thank you.